Hey guys, this is Viper with a new Hot Toys Predator review. And considering I was doing a, a little series, I guess you'd call it, on the uh, Hot Toys Predator 2 collectible reviews, I figured I would finish the last two that I have in this one review. Uh, I do not have the Battle Damage Predator 2, that is the only one I'm missing. But I do have Original Predator 2, and I don't have his box, I bought him used. But I do have Lost Box, and I figured start by taking a look at the packaging which is as usual is very nice flip it around and we get to see a picture of lost without his mask and the back was always the best part give was gave you a great preview of the collectible inside giving you all the different views of the figure and then down here showing you the different uh, accessories he came with or different features on the figure and the last one is just a close-up of the bio and uh, I guess that's about it for the box, so uh, let's take a look at the figures. And here we have the Lost Predator and Predator 2 collectibles. I'll tell you, when you remove the slipcover, the picture on the flap of the box there makes a perfect background for the review. But uh, I guess we'll start with Lost Predator, since all of his stuff is out at the moment. And the funny thing about this guy is, after I bought the first Predator... I wasn't sure if I really wanted to go nuts buying them. I mean, they're, they're all pretty cool, but, you know, to me, the original was pretty much the epitome of the Predator to get. And uh, at the time, I was looking at uh, the website Big Bad Toy Store, and I was looking around, the only one that they had besides, well, actually, they, the only one they had, period, all the rest were sold out, was this guy. And at first, I wasn't sure if I necessarily wanted him, because I never really saw Predator 2, the movie at the time. But he intrigued me, because the Lost Predator is very different from all the other Predators. He doesn't have a plasma caster, he doesn't have a detonator on his wrists, and a lot of the accessories that all the other Predator 2 Predators had, he did not. Uh, his detonator actually is on one of his accessories right here, his um, spear. And the only real weapon he had, besides this the spear and that staff was a disc. And he kind of struck me as a predator who, even though his armor up here kind of um, is very technological, he's actually nicknamed the Borg Predator, he struck me as something that, you know, he kind of stuck to the traditional way of hunting. You know, he didn't use the technological, technologically advanced weapons as much. He wanted to be up close and personal. And I just thought that because he was different than the other Predators, I figured I would give him a try. Obviously, I've already gone over some of his accessories, but he comes with his staff. He comes with his bio, which, if you can get a closer look at it. I kind of like this bio mask. The only thing that's missing is, and this is actually the case with a lot of these Predator masks, on the boxes it's very misleading. Uh, on the box it looks like he has the translucent eyes that actually Predator 2 has. But these are just um, painted gray with kind of like uh, checkers on them. I mean, they're nice. It's a really nice mask, but just a little something extra. And um, the rest of his accessories are pretty much just uh, his disc, a few different sets of hands, and then one thing with all of the Predator 2 uh, Predators is that they come with different trophy skulls from the wall uh, in the movie. And this one's kind of interesting. It looks kind of, I don't know, some sort of a maybe saber-toothed animal or something. And it has a really nice sculpt to it. It looks weathered and dirty like it's, you know, not... I guess he hasn't cleaned it yet. But I think it's a pretty cool accessory. Now, let's get back to the Predator himself. Wow. That looks like one happy guy, huh? This has a pretty interesting head sculpt. Uh, I like the the way they did the tribal painting. He has a really angry look to him compared to some of the other Predators that are a little more laid back. This guy looks like he is just, as they say, just spoiling for a fight. But um, actually, one of the interesting things about this uh, Predator to note is that this is actually the first Predator that I... Uh, built and I have to say it was not a very fun 
Uh, well, I can't say that. It was a fun experience, but it was also a pain in the ass because I had a couple issues. Issue number one was easily fixed. Uh, I think it was this side or... No, actually, it was the other side. The peg that this piece of armor connects to uh, broke, and I didn't even have to touch it. I kind of just tapped it when I was putting something else together, and it actually just popped right off. And it was easily fixed with glue. But one of the biggest problems I had, though, was getting this, um, I guess, buckle or this... Uh, piece to fit together properly because in the um, in this section of his back there's kind of an indent so when I was trying to push this button through the hole there it wouldn't go because there wasn't enough back pressure so I finally was able to get it on there by sticking a little board underneath it and I was able to fasten it tightly however as I was playing with it the piece that goes underneath and connects to the front ended up breaking uh, it doesn't really change anything in terms of how it looks or how it stays on the figure. But it's just something that kind of ticks me off. You know, you spend almost $200 to get these guys and then half the time you end up breaking them because the pieces are, you know, kind of chintzier than you'd expect. But overall, I really like the figure and he's actually one of my favorites in my Predator collection. I'm sure many of you who have this figure or have had other uh, Hot Toys Predators in the past will notice that I have not fixed the dreaded, quote-unquote, poofy-haired problem with the dreadlocks. Now, I have not tried fixing dreadlocks before. I'm not sure I really want to give it a try because knowing me, I'll break something. But it probably would be a decent idea because it kind of makes them look a little ridiculous, especially from the back. But overall, I would recommend picking him up if you could. I think he makes a definitely a different addition to your Predator collection. Well, now let's move on to Predator 2. And now we move on to original Predator 2. Now, I believe this guy was the first Predator to come out from the Predator 2 line at Hot Toys. I believe he came out right when they finished the AVP line. Uh, except for, I think, the Ancient Predators. They came out a little later. But overall, I really like the way this guy looks. Uh, I really like the Biomask. I like how the armor is kind of like a copper or a brass finish to it. And it really complements the red skin pretty well. And overall, I just really like the way it looks. Uh, I actually got this guy from a private seller. And I got a pretty good deal on him, I think. Uh, and it's funny, at the time I said to myself, ah, this will be my last Predator figure. What more could I need after having these three? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I got him in very good shape. Uh, he was pretty clean. Uh, the dreads were in good shape. The body was in good shape, the armor. I, though, I must say, there's something about... These two Preds, I just had no luck on them whatsoever. Well, actually, I didn't have any luck on the Elder either, if you remember that review. But I don't know what happened. I was moving him around one day, and I think I put him away for a little bit. And when I pulled him out, this little pouch got stuck on something, and now it is kind of just hanging there. So I guess I'll need to try to glue that at some point or whatever, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm having bad luck when it comes to keeping predators from breaking. I don't know why. But anyway, back to the review. In terms of accessories, he comes with uh, a disc that you can uh, attach to the side here, or you could obviously put in his hand. He comes with uh, this, I think this is a little net gun, I think it's called. That comes down. Uh, he has a plasma caster up here, which is a little different than the one from Predator 1, but it's there nonetheless. He comes with an opening detonator, which opens the wrong way. He's got this, I think that's the little spear he shot at the vent. Uh, I think Guardian has that as well. And then he's got his bio mask. Come on. Ah, there we go. Didn't want to come off. Let's take a look at this. I really like this bio mask. It's simple. 
but it's effective. It really looks weathered. It really looks like he's been through a lot of battles. And this has, I don't know if you could see that on the video, light shining through the back of it a little bit, but this has the translucent eyes I was talking about that it appeared that Lost had, but it turns out he didn't. I mean, that's not really a big deal. I know I've been kind of beating away at it, but it was just a cool feature that would be cool if all of them had. Uh, his other accessories are, uh, just like Lost Predator, he has the same extendable spear. He has a couple extra hands, and he came with a trophy skull that uh, pretty much most of them come with. Overall, I really have to say that I the, the transaction was smooth, and I really do enjoy the figure. The only reservation I have with him comes with his head. And the only reason I say it's a reservation is because it looks nice, but there's something about it. I don't know if it's the way they did the colors or what, but I don't know. It doesn't look right. This is the, this is the head that doesn't have the uh, detachable mandibles. Uh, this one's just, they're sculpted on. But I don't know. I mean, it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. But there's something different about it. I, I've seen pictures of the battle damaged one. And I don't know. I think, you know, I think it is. I think the battle damaged one probably has a more movie accurate paint job. But I mean, I'm not really complain. I can't complain that much. I think uh, it looks pretty good. And it's, I, I wouldn't say it's a point of contention where you're not going to want to get the figure just because of that. One thing about this figure also is that from all the Predators I have, except for maybe Elder, uh, these are, without a doubt, the best dreadlocks on the Predators. You don't have the poofing problem or anything like that. And it just really stands out as a really, really nice piece for your collection. Um, I guess that's really about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Predator 2 reviews. Uh, as I've stated before, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Battle Damage Predator 2. If I do, I probably will review it. Um, big thank you to Endless Rain for getting me the Predator 2. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.